If you're here for the long term, then this video is for you because in this video, I'm going to be talking about eBay feedback, how to increase your positive feedback, avoid getting negative feedback, and what you can do to remove that negative feedback that you did manage to get on your store. Everything you need to know about eBay's feedback and a lot more value coming up in this video. So quick intro and let's go. Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. My name is Liran from AutoDS, I'm the content manager and I've also been dropshipping for the last several years. And as mentioned in this video, I'm going to teach you guys everything you need to know about eBay feedback, how to increase your positive feedback, how to avoid getting negative feedback, and how to also eliminate that negative feedback that you did manage to get on your dropshipping stores. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this party started. One second before that, if you are new to our YouTube channel, this is the part where you need to subscribe to always stay updated on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics that we have coming out in the dropshipping world when it comes to anything and everything, case studies, which products you need to sell, marketplaces, suppliers, and so much more. Hit that subscribe button and let's begin. So what do we know about eBay feedback? Is it even important in the first place? Let's get this one out of the way. eBay feedback, it is important, it is essential, but you do need to balance it out. It's not the most important thing on your dropshipping store. You do wanna have it in check and that's just about it. Any feedback above 94, 95% will be good. Of course, we all wanna have 99, 100% positive feedback, but even if you don't have it, even if some buyers are causing some problems and you're hanging around the 95, 96% zone, it's still okay, don't worry about that. I do remind you that many buyers don't even look at the seller feedback, but that does not mean that you do not have to work hard on it. As long as your eBay feedback is in check, and this video will show you exactly how, you won't even have to worry about this and you won't spend or waste too much time trying to see what you can do about your eBay feedback. So as we mentioned, positive feedback is good. Anything above 95% or even 94%, 93%, you don't wanna go much below that because even though not all buyers look at seller feedback, some do and you don't wanna miss out on those sales too. And you do wanna give good customer service. You do wanna have good customer feedback at the end of the day. That's how you know that your business is running the right way and you're not leaving any customers unsatisfied anything that can give them a reason to open more return cases give you more negative feedback and in time it will just not play out well for the long-term survivability and the profits that you will make or not make on your eBay dropshipping stores. So quick reminder, everything that I'm going over in this video is right under this video. I have a link to the blog. It will take you to the article that you're seeing here, but do stay tuned in this video because I'm offering a lot more value than there is on that blog below, especially when we get to the how to remove negative feedback. I did a live example a few minutes before I started recording this video because I just woke up this morning and saw a new negative feedback on my store and I thought this is a perfect day to record a video of how to remove the negative feedback, so stay tuned. Let's begin by learning about some methods on how to increase our eBay positive feedback. So there's a few ways to increase your positive feedback and if you're in the beginning of your journey and you've got zero seller or buyer feedbacks, this is what you need to know. In order to increase your positive feedback on eBay, once again, especially in the beginning of your journey when you don't have any feedbacks, is simply by purchasing products on eBay. So when you purchase a product, the seller can also leave you a positive review as a buyer, and the same feedback will be seen when you are a seller on eBay. Let me show you an example of how that works. Let's head over to my personal eBay account. And as you can see here, I haven't refreshed this page yet. I have a negative feedback. As soon as I refresh this page, you will see that it is gone because I already removed it. I will show you that a little bit later on in this video. Video. So here's the seller dashboard. It's already refreshed. So you can see that now I have zero negative feedback. Once again, we'll get to that in just a couple of minutes. The total feedback that you see, as you can see here in the last 30 days, I got 89 positive feedbacks from my buyers, one neutral feedback and zero negative, which was a one that was just turned down to a zero. If I click on the positive feedback, I will be taken to my eBay feedback profile where I can see the feedback that I did get as a buyer and as a seller. So as you can see here, you have the all received feedback, all of the feedback that you received as a buyer and as a seller. You have received as a buyer and received as a seller. 
and feedback that I left for others. But feedback received as a buyer and feedback received as a seller, it's all combined. So when you buy a product on eBay, your seller is going to leave you with a positive feedback because they'd want you to leave them with positive feedback too. And that is also what we are doing as sellers. Every time a buyer buys from our store, we use AutoDS to automatically leave a positive feedback for the buyers who buy from us. And that simply makes it a lot easier for us so we won't have to do it by ourselves. That is a great option to have. So the first way to increase your positive feedback is simply by buying products. Now, many people would want to start and say, okay, I want to have 100 feedbacks. I want to start with 100 positive feedbacks. You don't need to start with 100 positive feedbacks. Even 15 or 20 is enough. And you don't even have to buy really expensive products. You can buy any product that even costs a dollar or two. My recommendation is to look for products in auctions, search on eBay for things like red, green, beads, things like that, that will come out really cheap on your eBay auctions, sort it out by the lowest price, and that way you can find a lot of black beads or red cheap necklaces or anything that will cost anywhere between 50 cents to a dollar or maybe even two dollars but that's at the most and that is how much that positive feedback will cost you because you will win that auction the seller will leave you with a positive feedback and that is the best way to increase your positive feedbacks when you have a new ebay seller account or a new ebay account because right now you're acting as the buyer so getting positive feedback as a buyer is one of the easiest and simplest ways and one of the quickest ways to get positive feedbacks when you're in the beginning of your journey with your ebay account another way to get positive feedbacks is to simply list and sell quality products. We don't want to sell products that our customers are not going to be happy and satisfied with and this one should go without saying but if you're in the beginning of your journey listen up. Doesn't matter which supplier you're working with and in this case I'll take AliExpress when you're searching for a product any product for example dog collars. So as you can see here we got a whole bunch of dog collars and if we look in every item you can see that we have a feedback rating over here next to the star and we can even filter four stars and above right up here and this is what I recommend you guys to do and this way all of the results that we're getting are products that are proven to work that customers are happy with these products so as you can see here we got 25,383 units of this dog collar sold for just two dollars and nine cents with a 4.8 average review for this seller so all of these products are good and this way you'll know that your customers will be satisfied now many dropshippers in the beginning of their dropshipping journey do not notice the positive feedbacks or any feedbacks whatsoever when they're getting products from their suppliers and this is simply not a smart thing to do only list and sell high quality products that way when your buyers receive the products the item description will match they know what they're buying and they got exactly what they signed up for they'll be happy and they'll leave you with a positive feedback so we talked about buying products on ebay buying cheap products to get buyer reviews really really quick and listing and selling high quality products as a seller so that our buyers will leave us with positive feedback now the next method to get positive feedback from your buyers is by using the automatic messages that AutoDS can send to your buyers after an order has successfully processed, when a tracking number is available, and as a thank you message after 30 or 15 or 50 days, whatever you choose, after the buyer received their product, you can send them another message, a third automated message saying, hey, I hope you're satisfied with your product. Do not forget to leave me with a positive review for you if everything is okay, and so on. So there are three automatic messages that AutoDS can send. Let me show you what I mean. All you need to do is log into the platform, click on settings, store settings and orders, scroll down a little bit, and then you'll get the gift message if you're dropshipping from Amazon and you can write something on their gifts. And then you got the feedback. So this is the feedback that you are leaving your buyer every Every buyer that buys from your store so this is also automated for you as I've mentioned in the beginning of this video and then you've got the three or automatic messages when the order was placed when the tracking number is available and after the order was delivered you can completely customize these messages by clicking on the edit button but do know that AutoDS has these templates set up for you automatically so you don't have to edit anything if you don't want and these messages are perfect as they are so sending these automatic messages to your buyers if there's ever any problem your buyer will know to reach out to you they won't go ahead and open up a return case or a cancellation on ebay right away some of them do but most of them will notice these messages and it will help you get more positive feedback this way sometimes they do miss out sometimes they simply forget leaving you with a positive feedback and once they read a message from here they're like right this seller they want a positive feedback 
they deserve it let's go ahead and give it to them this has worked for me a lot as well as for others using automated messages to buyers is another wonderful method to get more positive feedback another way is by leaving automatic positive feedback for your buyers so we just talked about that it's here on the auto dia system so as soon as we leave that feedback the buyers can see that we are leaving them with positive feedback and they'd want to return the favor to you, the seller. Another way is simply by providing professional customer service. And once again, this one should go without saying. When your buyers reach out to you, answer their messages. You need to also stay in touch with your buyers. So you're doing that using the automatic messages that we just talked about. Cases and returns. So when a buyer opens a case in a return, make sure that you answer as fast as possible not just because ebay tells you that you have to answer within two or three days but because you do want to offer really fast and very efficient customer service so open up your cases and returns every day see if there's anything new and work on it as soon as possible respond to your buyers respond to the cases and returns they will give you positive feedback even if there is a return and they return the product they receive the refund this even makes buyers happy and they will leave you with positive feedback after that the last piece of advice on how to increase your positive feedback is by dispatching your orders quickly as soon as you get an order there's no reason to wait dispatch it right away and if you're working with automatic orders on AutoDS, then this is no problem for you because your orders will get processed as soon as they come into your store even while you sleep at night but if you're doing it manually make sure to process your orders as fast as possible that way many buyers if you're shipping for example from the us to the us with quick one to two day shipping your customers will receive their products really quick and they will appreciate it and give you a positive feedback just for that remember that many buyers do know how to appreciate fast efficient and high quality service and products so that's why i talked about all of these things it will all help increase your positive feedback and you have seen the situation on my ebay stores almost 90 positive feedbacks in the last 30 days and i don't have too many listings on this store i started with zero feedbacks when i created this account right now i've got 1791 positive feedback and i've only got about 1000 listings in this specific store so it's not a lot of listings to get 90 positive feedbacks in the last 30 days. And if I would have had 10,000 listings, then you can imagine how much positive feedback I would have from there. One neutral and once again, zero negative to an overall 99.6% positive feedback from all of the 1,791. So hopefully this will help you guys see that I am always talking from experience and I'm always sharing my experiences and my values from my dropshipping experience straight to you guys so that you guys can have the same amount of success that I'm having and hopefully even more. Now let's move on to the second section of this video, how to remove negative feedback on eBay. Right before I started recording this video, I noticed that I have a brand new negative feedback, which doesn't happen much, but when it does happen, we do want to try and remove it. So I will show you that video because I was able to remove it. I did a quick recording, so I will add in just a couple of seconds, but let me talk to you guys about a couple of things first on how to remove negative feedback. So one way to do it is sending a feedback revision request to your buyer, but first you have to work things out with your buyer, see what's wrong, see if you can offer maybe a partial refund, or maybe if you can even return the item for them for whatever reason, and simply just try to work it out with them. And if you do, you can send them a feedback revision request you have a link to that in the blog below this video you can even write on google feedback revision request and it will take you to the page where you can send a revision request to your buyer let me click on it to show you exactly what i mean and how it looks like so here is a feedback revision request once i clicked on that link it took me to my page and ebay is showing me all of the neutral and negative feedbacks that i got and this buyer wrote this seller uses amazon so you should just purchase off them and get it cheaper i don't use amazon because i don't believe in their politics and i try to help out smaller businesses but this seller is a drop shipper i have absolutely no problem with that and here's a little secret ebay doesn't care either they just want to see that you know how to take care of your customers ebay is happy to have so many products on their platform so that they can really compete with amazon and aliexpress and any other big huge supplier that you may have heard of so this is a neutral feedback i don't mind having it i won't even try to revise it with the buyer because neutral feedbacks don't mean anything if it was a negative feedback i would try to reach out to them and just so you guys know 
these types of feedbacks rarely ever happen. As you saw in my seller account, I never pay anyone to remove my negative feedbacks and I only have to deal with it at the most, maybe once a month. And that is really taking it really far. So I don't mind these rare neutral feedbacks. I don't mind the rare negative feedbacks that I do try and remove, but I definitely will not try to remove this neutral feedback. I don't mind that everyone will see it because most people will not see it and it's perfectly fine. But that's not what I wanted to show you guys. This is the request feedback revision. So if I would want to revise or ask the buyer to revise this feedback and make it a positive feedback or nothing at all, what I would do is click on this checkbox. Then I can choose the reason that I wanted to revise the feedback. I resolve the problem with the buyer. The buyer confirmed that he or she accidentally left the wrong feedback or I can write for whatever reason and then I'll click on send. Then eBay will send this buyer a message and tell him, hey, the seller wants to revise the feedback. This is the reason that they gave. Do you accept the feedback revision request? They can write yes or no. Now, eBay only gives you a few feedback revisions per year, so use them wisely and only use them when you know or you know that you have a good chance that the buyer will revise the feedback. Don't just send them out randomly. The second method to remove negative feedback that you got on eBay is by using eBay's feedback extortion policy. So if the buyer did a no-no, did something that he's not supposed to do, like threaten you, the seller, that he will leave a negative feedback if you don't do this and that, like if you don't give him some kind of a discount or something, this is called feedback extortion and eBay has a strict policy against that. So if a buyer did that, just let them know by a phone call or by live chat or by reaching out to their support email and they will be more than happy to remove that negative feedback. This is exactly what eBay says about feedback extortion. Buyers cannot use the threat of negative or promise of positive feedback to get a seller to provide goods or services that weren't included in the original item's description or purchase price. Similarly, they cannot use feedback to force a seller to accept a return or give a refund if they're not required to by the terms of their listing, by the seller's listing, or by the eBay money back guarantee. So buyers cannot start threatening you and do whatever they want. And the same thing also goes for sellers. So you cannot tell a buyer to leave a positive feedback and only then will you give them a return label or something like that. Don't ever ask for a positive feedback in exchange for something. Give your positive feedbacks because you simply want them to give you a positive feedback too, but don't tell them that. They will give you a positive feedback once they are happy with their product. And the automatic messages that you're also sending them will help a lot. And it is definitely not called extortion when you're asking them to leave a positive feedback as long as they're happy with their product. So feedback extortion policy, if the buyer did something that he's not supposed to do, just tell eBay and eBay will have that removed for you. The third method that is not written in the blog, but I did record a video, as I mentioned, right before starting this one, because I did notice a negative feedback and I got it taken care of right away. So let's go ahead and see that clip right now how I remove that negative feedback. Let's go. So I'm removing a negative feedback as we speak on eBay. I want you guys to see exactly how it is done. In this case, a buyer left negative feedback after trying to return an item after the 30 day window passed. So I tried explaining to this buyer that it's too late to return this item, the 30 day window passed, I'm really sorry. Next time, if there's anything wrong with your product, we ask no questions if you want to return it, but it needs to be in that 30 day return window or whatever you set in your eBay business policies. Now, this buyer chose not to understand that and they just went and left negative feedback. Before that, they opened a case. So the first thing they did was reach out to me in eBay messages, letting me know that they want to return this product. Product. After I let them know that it's not a possibility since the time has passed, they opened a return case on eBay and tried their luck. I declined that return on eBay's case. eBay gives you that option as long as the 30 days or whatever you have on your business policies, as long as those days have passed, you can simply decline the case and you won't have to supply a return label. So after I declined the return case, the buyer simply left a negative feedback on my account and here it is, the one negative feedback from today from June 2nd. I'm just blurring it a little bit so you won't have an idea of the product because I have enough dropshippers taking the products that I'm selling, so please don't mind that. What they're saying here mainly is that they tried to return an item but since 30 days have passed, the seller wouldn't cooperate with me and now they're mad and blah blah blah. What I did was simply reach out to eBay and let them know, hey, I did everything according to the rules. I have my business policies. I have no problem with returns as you can see on my account seller history. Let me just show you the chat window instead of explaining it. So I let them know this buyer left negative feedback after ordering this product 
that was not the right size for him. The item listing is correct. The buyer didn't simply didn't notice the dimensions of the product. So the eBay representative said, okay, I will check it out for you. I understand your concern that you want negative feedback removed. Please do not worry. I will do my best to help you. Of course, I, I let them know they ordered the wrong size. You can see my history. I have no problem with returns as long as they comply with the business policies. So the eBay representative told me, could I ask for two minutes to investigate this for you? I'll get back to you as soon as I'm done. So I wrote, of course. And then I also wrote another message. Note that they also opened a return case, which I had to decline since 30 days have passed. They replied with negative feedback. Although I tried explaining the situation in eBay messages, the buyer chose not to understand. So if a buyer opens a case against you and you win the case as a seller, they cannot leave a negative feedback for you. Or in other words, they can, but you can have it removed. And this was the trigger here. So he told me, please do not worry. I'm looking into it. And thank you for sharing that additional information. I told him, thank you. I'm here. I'm looking into the case, no problem, let me know how I can assist. So I'm trying to always show eBay that I'm on their side, which is true. And then just a couple of minutes later, or on that same minute, he wrote, I'm removing it. So I told him, thank you, I appreciate it. Then he wrote, I have removed it. It will get removed in the next 24 to 48 hours. Is there anything else I can do for you? I said, that will be all, I truly appreciate it. And that is that. I'm glad I was able to explain the situation clearly for you. Thank you for eBay, for using eBay. I wish good health for you. So all of this chat is going to go into my email address now, but I wanted to show you guys this chat window while I still have it open because it just happened in the past five minutes. So I really hope that this will help you out understanding how you can remove some of the negative feedbacks that you are getting. This is only one scenario. I just refreshed the page and it didn't take 24 to 48 hours. It just took a couple of minutes. As you can see now, I have zero negative feedbacks from the last 30 days. And just a minute ago, just look at the background of the screen, you would have seen that I had one. That was the one feedback that I just removed from my store. So there you have it. That's how I removed a real live negative feedback that I got this morning on my eBay store. Those are the exact same steps that I took and that is what I did to remove it using the eBay chat. Now you can also call eBay on the phone. This method usually works the best because they don't record their calls. But if you do chat with them or reach out to their support online, they have a log of all of your attempts to do something, to take a certain action like remove a negative feedback or increase your seller limits. So if you do not succeed through chat or through the email, you will have a hard time to get that certain action done. That's why I definitely recommend to use the phone. In this case, I did know that I will get the negative feedback removed because the buyer is in the wrong here. He opened the case, a return. After the return window has already closed, try to do something that he can according to eBay's policies. I declined the return and then he left a negative feedback. eBay knows that that one is not deserved. So that is the, all the steps that you need to take in order to remove negative feedback from your store. And we already talked about how to get more positive feedback. Now let's talk about some methods on how to avoid getting negative feedback in the first place. So what are the steps to avoid getting negative feedback and then we won't have to put up with sending revision requests and trying to work it out with the buyer and all of that. So first things first, use the right shipping policy. If you don't use the right shipping policy, in any case, buyers will open up cases against you and your seller account will be in jeopardy. But if you do use the right shipping policy, your buyers will know exactly when they're getting their products. They'll know what to expect. And when you deliver faster, quicker than their expectations, they'll even be even happier and leave you with positive feedback. So this is one way to avoid negative feedback. Just make sure you are sending out your packages on time and you are using the right shipping policies, whether you're shipping from the US or from China, it really doesn't matter. Make sure that your shipping policies are correct. Another way to avoid negative feedback is using the correct item location. Now, this is another thing that will jeopardize your account if you don't use the right item location. Now, if you are shipping from multiple warehouses, you are a drop shipper and that is what we do. That's perfectly fine. Just choose any item location in the same country. So if you know that the product is coming from the US, use any product location from the US and that will be fine. But do not use a US item location if your product, for example, is being shipped from China. Not only once again will it jeopardize your seller account, but buyers will notice it right away and leave you with negative feedback. So I really hope that you found this video informational. Use the personal experience that I showed you in this video. Not a lot of people are doing that. And do keep in mind that a lot of service providers are taking a lot of money from passing on all kinds of important information that they use when they're providing these services for you, like removing negative feedback or increasing your positive feedback.
So all of this information is so that you guys can really take your dropshipping stores to the next level, go for it for the long term, get a lot of positive feedbacks like you saw on my own personal eBay account. That really helps in the long run. I've had this store for over four years and I'm pretty sure that I'm going to have it for the next four and the next four after that because I am working long term and getting a ton of positive feedback is one of the ways to get your dropshipping stores to the long term survivability and profiting. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, if you are new, subscribe to our YouTube channel because this is the kind of value that we're giving to you along with so much more. Thank you for watching. See you in the future videos.